well, well, well. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Before we talk about anything, before I even say anything else, I've got some disclaimers. It is 4.30 a.m. for me, and I have been awake since 6 a.m. yesterday. So, we're gonna watch the 4.6 Arlecchino update, Genshin livestream. But I have to let you know, I am extremely sleep deprived and my insomnia at, is, is at, uh, at an all time peak, not good. But hey, it's good to see you guys. Um, don't always stream on YouTube, but it's always nice to see you guys when I'm not streaming on Twitch. That's right. I'm only streaming on YouTube this time. You should sleep immediately. Yes, I will sleep immediately after this. That is, that is a plan. Of course, I'm only awake for um, the live stream. The live stream is in about 26 minutes, so we'll take the time here to have a little chat one on one with you guys. Maybe you have some questions about what the heck is he even doing with his YouTube? All of a sudden, he's posting shorts every day. He's not inactive anymore. This is why I'm here. I do like these streams because then I get to like talk to you guys and we get to like one on one com I guess well maybe one on like a hundred combo because like there's like a hundred of you or something but America yeah you know I'm filming a little small video about the history of America yeah that little meme such such a cute meme I think that blew up sometimes there's like really annoying memes but then there's sometimes really cute memes that blow up and I, I think that's one of the cuter ones for sure I like those <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Will you do horror game shorts? Um, maybe on my second horror game channel, maybe. Perhaps. Check this out. I have a new camera. Um, it's really bad, but it it moves. That's not it. Whoops. <laughs> I just pressed the wrong. It's like my favorite purchase. But the quality is so like, it's shit. <laughs> it's so bad. It's such bad quality. Yeah. But uh, when I host game shows in my room, because remember Jeopardy, Genshin Jeopardy? I hosted that. I want to do another with like a big green screen in the back here. Like back here. And then I can walk around and the, then, then the camera can like track me and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just some ideas. It's a bad camera. It's like really dark. You know what I mean? You know? Hello from France. Hello. Hello. Am I going to see six or like, you know, I'm trying to, try to spend less guys, you know, and I've, we've had, let's be real. I've had my era of being an out of touch whale playing Genshin. I'm kind of coming back to my roots. I've been playing a lot of Star Rail lately and I've been uh, free to play in that. So it's been like very, very like humbling, <laughs> you know? But I think what I'll do is I'll open up a Google form and people can uh, apply and I'll choose people to roll Arlecchino for them. We can do a little Arlecchino rolling video. I haven't done a rolling vid in a while. I think that'll be fun. Weapon? Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I mean we've, we've, we've seen things, right? 
I mean, the weapon for Arlecchino, I probably will likely roll. I don't, I'm not going to R5. Probably no C6 R5s. It's a lot of money when you put it into perspective. It's a lot of money. Hi from England. Hello. Lucky for you, it's probably daylight. It's 4.30... 4.38 a.m. I look thinner? I look thinner. Really? Maybe I lost weight. I don't know. I lose weight really easily. Hi from Australia. Hello. Did you know Chevy when I met her? I didn't know she was Australian. Until I heard her accent when she spoke. Very pretty. She's a... Uh, really cool. I met her at the Star Rail uh, party. Thailand, hello. Philippines, I've been there a few times. Being free to play is satisfying. And Star Rail, I'll say it's much more satisfying, in my opinion, for Star Rail specifically. But uh, Gen Genshin is much harder, much more time consuming, consuming to grind a lot of the uh, rewards, I would say. Yeah. 20 minutes, chat. 20 minutes, guys. 20 minutes. 20 more minutes. Until our time is over, and then we can watch the Genshin live stream. Good day from land under. What does that even mean? Star Rail or Genshin? I like both. I think I'm more invested in Star Rail right now. I mean, let's be honest. Genshin's kind of had a, had a dead patch recently. Um, but things will pick up once Arlecchino come back again. And because uh, the dead patch happened, Star Rail just happened to be there at the same time with their anniversary and stuff as well. So it's been, been playing a lot of Star Rail lately. Upload more Star Rail. You know, I actually started to on my third channel. Uh, I'm posting much more Star Rail on that channel now. Yeah. I don't know about the main channel here, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I've been thinking about hosting another game show sort of thing. How, all right, question. How many of you seen like my online stream game show? Where it's like, oh, Jeopardy or like, guess the song. Maybe you've seen like guess the song. You know that one? I think those were really fun to do. Haven't done one in a while. Uh, I'm considering... Yo, Sam Paul, thanks for the 40. I don't even know what that currency is. Tuanto, please put made outfit in this live stream. You know, since you donated, I would. I genuinely don't know where um, the made outfit is. <laughs> Not that I'd wear it too, but I don't know where it is. Is it back in Portland? I don't know if it's in Portland. Where is as I was saying, um, stuff like this, uh, let's see, the, uh, Jeopardy Genshin, Guess the Song Genshin, I'm thinking of doing another, but I want to bring on Nick, because I think Nick would be hilarious to have on, like, my show. I was thinking for the next show, I do Nick, Dish, and Fob. Hilarious bunch. Ads use the goat and guess a song. Bro, not gonna lie, I was re-watching some of the ones, like, he played in. And I was like, is this guy fucking cheating? <laughs> I was like, is this guy cheating? Like, how is he getting all of this? Like, how? Why <laughs> are you doing this? There's not much I can do now, I don't know. Yeah. Bro, like cheating or something. Do you think Genshin Impact will die one day? Genshin's too big, guys. I don't even think think that's something to like, think about. I know Weathering Waves is coming out um May. But like I don't I don't I can't I can't like think about the argument of like oh it'll die one day because like it it just won't. It's too big, man. Too big of a game. Game show with Star Rail would be pretty cool. Here's the thing. That's also a good idea. Unfortunately, though, I don't play enough to, like, think I'm credible to host a show for Star Rail. 
like the only reason why i did the genshin ones because i've been playing that game for like three plus years straight like star rail been on and off i'm kind of getting back in but i don't want to like show up and be like oh yeah i know everything about star rail i host the show you know i don't want to do that until like i feel confident that i can represent that game properly if that makes sense that makes sense does that make sense Monto, please put made outfit in this live stream dude i can't i can't i can't <laughs> I was kidding, man. By the way, love from India. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you for the donations. Much love. India. What's my third account? Uh, it's Twantos. It's like toes. Toes on your feet. You're going to pull for the cat twink. Who, who's the cat twink? <laughs> thank you for the donation, Artie Bread. The super chat. What is a cat twink? Which one's the... What? What? Who's that? Lenny? Is Lenny the rerun banner? Is it Arlequino and Lenny? Are those the banners? I don't know. It's Shoto? Oh, Jesus. That was Lenny. Oh. I've never... I don't think I've heard someone call him that. I've never heard... <laughs> I mean, I guess... Sure. <laughs> no, I already have Lenny. I'll probably rolling for Arlequino because I don't have her yet. What I major in college? I dropped out. Staying school, guys. Don't don't do what I did. Please stay in college. You know the biggest and best mistake of my life when I was still in college. I got loan. I think I said this before, but I got. Don't do this, by the way. Don't do this. This is really stupid. It only it only worked because it was during COVID time and streaming was blowing up during COVID time. I had loan money for college. I used all of my loan money to buy my first PC. <laughs> and then I streamed on that PC. Dude, <laughs> awful choice, but it worked out for me. I can't guarantee it'll work out for you. Don't do that. Not a good idea. Not, not safe. Very high risk. Very high risk, I will say. That's not, not good. Cobalt, thanks for the four months. Hope we can get a snippet of Natlin. Yeah, I hope we can. Uh, that's the next region. I really hope they skip some updates and get faster with the next regions and stuff, but I don't know. How old am I? I turned 24 February. I look like shit, Jesus. I just woke up, I guess, but jeez. Just from a little nap. Will you play Snover today? No, I will not be playing Snover today. Yeah, don't drop out of college. Do you, do you do other fandoms? What does that mean? What do you mean do other fandoms? You're not tired? I'm so tired. I'm very tired. What does that mean? America! Got that streamer hair. What do you mean streamer hair? What, what makes the streamer hair? 24 damn that's rough buddy what do you mean that's rough <laughs> what, what do you mean that's rough <laughs> thank you for the super chat 24 is a great age once i hit 25 though i'll start feeling not great but for now i'm doing fine avatar last you know what's crazy avatar the last airbender is now in fortnite it's like all right, Fortnite got it like that. Fortnite's kind of lit, though. Not gonna lie. Fourteen minutes. Fourteen. Ten minutes. Why are you saying ten minutes? It's Fourteen, isn't it? Let me see. Let's go to Engine Impact. What do you think of Star Wars story so far? It's pretty good now. I finished uh, 2.1 quests the other day. Really good. Lots of cliffhangers. Made me feel things. If you don't reply, we're married. We're not married. Sorry. 
We're not getting married. Did you see the clips? I didn't. I actually slept through it. <laughs> Arlequino time. Yes, mom. Thanks for the five super chat. Which song do I want to cover next? Probably Robin's next song. Star Rail is really cool because it allows like so many music opportunities. I think that's pretty neat. Chat is going very fast now. I can't read. Does anyone know a weapon? Can I put on the Kino if I don't get a signature? Don't know yet. We'll find out though. White Knight. That's a good song. Hosting an online talent show instead of a game show. Like for creators or for like just anyone? Because the last time I did a like try to make me laugh YouTube vid. It was um There was a lot to learn from it. <laughs> there was a lot to learn, I think. Uh With creators? Yeah, I could do with creators for sure. But my biggest goal that I've been wanting to do for the past three years is fly out creators and have them in person for a show that I could host. Because everything I do is online, because obviously online is much easier. Um, but like having people in person takes a lot of time planning, but the biggest thing is budget and money. And I don't always have that if I want to fly everyone out. Matsuri Chan, thanks for the... Ooh, welcome, you're a new member. Oh yeah, we're getting... I guess I told my Twitch stream this. Because I've been streaming on Twitch a lot more. Uh, but I'll update you guys too. Um, I'm commissioning new emotes. So that you guys have cute emotes to use in stream here. When we stream on YouTube. They're cat emotes. So I had this idea. Where... We have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. I can I can show you this in 10 minutes. Hold on. Let me let me show you. I can show you in 10 minutes. Where is it? Oh shit. Aha. Found it. Yes. So the inspiration was that I'm black haired dude reference joker and omori what do joker and omori have in common a cat one slightly uglier than the other but both a black cat and so we were like mm, what if i made emotes of black cats and then you guys can be the cat and then i can be like black haired anime dude so these are some of like the references for the art and then these are some of like the the pose references as the cat there's scared, bye bye, win, loss, pog, riz, kaya, dead, gamba, gamble, hello, sad, have flower. So that, that, that was the stuff we brainstormed. I don't know when that'll come or be done, but that's just, you know, the idea of like how it will look. If you were curious. So we're your kids. No, do not say that. I, I like I like the trope of dude with a cool cat. I'm not. No, it's not. Not a kitten reference. No. Do not. Do not make it that. <laughs> Please. It's not. <laughs> All right. Sick. Cool. Whatever. Awesome. Cat or dog person. I like both. I have two dogs though at home. Maybe it's an anime. Um, I want to watch Furin, but I haven't watched any recently in general. How about Black Puppy Dog? Oh, it's too late. I'm already I already commissioned it. What am I uploading another horror game video? You know the game Content Aware, trending horror game right now. That's the next video coming out in two hours actually, on my horror game channel. So, it'll be up there. I think, yeah. Am I pulling for viewers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you're not on my Discord, I'll put a link in my Discord where you guys can apply. And then, uh... Oh, wait, what the fuck? It's live? My bad. 
saw it's live in five minutes. They baited us. Wait, I can't hear it. Is it just me or I can't hear anything? I'm not tripping, right? Does anyone else have, have the stream open? They're not... I don't think they're playing music, right? I don't think they are. Arlequino, Two Worlds of Flame, The Crimson Knight Fades. We get to see more of the family. That's good. Dude, Arlequino is so sick, dude. God, I... See, like... The only reason I would, like, C6 a character is because I think they're cool. Not because, like, their C6 is good. That That's it, really. I'm not really... I just roll because pretty. That's really it, but... Massive lore drop incoming? Really? You think for Arlequino? Do you think there'll be a Danzelif quest? Maybe. Arlecchino or Arlecchino? I don't know. Father. Father or mother? Or... Both. Why not both? She isn't cool. No, she is. She is. So, I, okay, sorry. Let me correct myself. She is someone I would see six because I think she's really cool. But then I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about the money and I'm like, hmm, well, I could spend it on other things that is not C6. <laughs> You're drinking protein milk? Yeah, I have like an oral fixation issue lately where I just need to drink something. So I've just been drinking this. Dotore, thank you for the super chat. Will you stay after the live stream? I'd love to. I think I'm gonna not though, cause I'm really tired. <laughs> Does your HSR account keep getting donations? No, 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 not anymore, thank God. Not anymore. He's, it was bad at the start. What mic do I use? This is the uh, SM7B. Increased quality? I can't. It's, oh, well, I can't. I lied. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it was a 480. I thought it was a 1080. Whoops. My mic sounds low, like it's too quiet. It's too quiet right now. Should I turn it up? I can turn it up. I turn it up. You're the biggest whale I've ever seen. I can't say I'm proud of that. It's not my proudest thing. Streaming schedule. I've actually been streaming every day lately on Twitch. I guess for YouTube, if you're asking about that, it's only four point, like, it's only update streams, that's it. That's really it. Deep fry the mic. I don't think I would want to hurt everyone's ears. Personally. That would not be good. 30 seconds. Are you hyped for this? I am. I'm just on no sleep, which is very unfortunate every time I stream this because <laughs> very, very difficult. But hey, it is 4.57 a.m. I'm on no sleep, but it's cool because we got the 4.6 Arlequino update. 
Oh, sh Ooh. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and the superstition. The Maria Wall. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the, the high sea. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest Discord? empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the god king derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land. The music is so pretty. And composed a splendorous symphony Ooh. based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! I like how this straightforward, thank you. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. Barbecue! They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in oh, activities man. like that. Oh, man. And the feeling is mutual. Oh, dude. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up. And Sino. since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a so great plan shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some Boy, sort of Charles project. Back. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. Yo. I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Neverland, well, unless that? absolutely that? necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Dude, the kill is so sick. Dude, the music is so good. Everlasting as the moon. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Who's that? Wait, Do you have that? any idea what you're doing? Who's you're that? hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. Yo! The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Who is that? I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint are an the optimistic boss? picture oh my indeed. God. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sit from a glass filled with Please. tainted water. Dude. I'll make sure Except it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. There's too many so I do hope happen. you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded, and no sacrifice shall be in vain. I have a lot of questions, yo. What the new character? Sile was fighting them. Are the kid was fighting her family? Yo. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone. Yay! Yo, yo, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. 
Hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. Why is I'm the here? voice of Arla Kino, the <laughs> father of the House of the Heart. He wasn't you in the trailer. You might also recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. What is Bo what doing? What up? It's me, Max <laughs> Middleman. Hey, everybody. What's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude. So good. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for days. <laughs> All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. Oh, they're getting I better at it. I heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? They're getting better yes, at it. Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the name. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, no codes yet, no is codes there yet. more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a Trina, rather thank you for the complicated orphanage. Super and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Yeah. Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Let's okay, do okay, it. first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link. I'm listening. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. All yeah, right, move but along. I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient oh, maybe than that's other why children who them. are their age. She, like, you know? them. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of sad, Possibly. though, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this <laughs> way? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now, that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, yep, then why? you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, Ooh. I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. I, I already appreciate Version 4.6 right will now. also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing oh, yeah, Arlequino's the story notes. quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Oh, thank God. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Blank, Besides thank you the for story the quest, subject. I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll yeah. finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. Dude, yeah, I want to learn more about <laughs> <Yes>. Arlequino. <laughs> so Next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Yes, show her the combat. Show <laughs> Intrigue! The combat. <laughs> yeah! Show the combat. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Okay. 
transfixed. This is where you fall. Oh, he's so cool! Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes! Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like, that was a perfect descriptor. Like, elegant but deadly. Like a, yes. like what a if ballerina of content? death. Yes! Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes! All right, well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're going to have to talk Only about the bond like. of life mechanics. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Uh... Oh, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So... They can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait know, a second. It's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying so. that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, whoa, so whoa. It, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. Dude, that, her Actually, combat that, looks so that sick, kind of dude. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. Dude, that's so It also fun applies looking, a blood man. debt directive to any blood enemy debt. that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know Dude, you I'm were. so excited for okay, her. I can't believe on. she's coming. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based oh my God, on her of course attack it kills her. and her Dude, of course it does. Uh, okay. Also, oh thanks to one of her oh, talents, so while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, oh so she can't be healed. She's like a she's healer. Ruthless to herself. She's a hyper carry she's DPS. Ruthless. Like she's she needs a hyper carry DPS. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. She's kind of a savage. Arlequino solo I mean, of this. <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she Puta uses her two. charge to death. Right? be healed. Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah, oh, and for sick. putting some serious oh God, pressure hell? on them. She can fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys yeah, ready? Show us the it's so exciting. All right. <laughs> During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Dude, Moon semblance will also uh, become so available. Clean. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, Wonder that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, I do. Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly boss. Yo. Oh that's right. We were just talking about how the Knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you ready to see a new name? Yes! Ready! I am ready! I'm so ready! Yo, what the? Yo, the music. Yo. Oh my, yo! God damn it. This, 
freaking music so good. Not even Linny and Fremenay have seen Fuhua. this side of her. That's what it reminded me of. So the Knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's oh, yeah. smooth. It feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> hey. It's not so simple to see the Knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Or she's yeah, teleporting. Yeah, it seems or like so, she'll dodge or, uh, all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. The Crazy outside world will not exercise. show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Hmm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Okay, yeah. boss fight mechanic. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? I <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Mm -hmm. oh, it's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. Okay, so what's Let's Ito's role in this? space for everyone to experience well, the challenge for themselves. What, what's Wait, Ito's so role? I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce Domain bosses. Yeah! Ooh. As long as travelers are adventuring 40 or Jean. higher, okay. they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the Adventurer Handbook, going to the Domains tab, selecting Trounce Domains, and pressing Quick Challenge. Wow! Oh, that's cool. That's, that's a nice, nice little that's shortcut nice. to the battle. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Okay. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I content. actually do have other new news content. to share. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Back in Sumeru. And for some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? This picture is right there. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I'm down for some Sino Oops. action. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. Okay. These are all very good guesses, <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. Who is that character? A mysterious youngster with connections connections to the mystery Yo. will make his debut during the case. Wait, he's kind and of pretty. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all Yo. come to support him when he's in a pinch. So yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> 
Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information wait, to share. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. Can, can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest oh, all of it, please? Damon. Please, please. He can't keep getting away I with this. Do, though. <laughs> all right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out Actually, the first yeah, redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> that was a lot, actually, in 17 minutes. Not gonna lie. All right. Code's here. Code is W T K B M B D A Z Z R Z. That was crazy, yo. That was crazy, bro. I'm gonna tweet something. I want to tweet an uh, image of the knave. Oh, you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, spooky. Dude, the music is so good, though. I'll say that. The music is crazy. Dude, I'm, I'm excited for this patch, dude. I'm excited for this patch. Hey, welcome back, everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story of Arlequino oh, yeah, and Undersea the House Capital. of the Hearth. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, <sighs> encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. <sighs> Though, would there even New be much village. to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands Another of years ago. Another talking cat. What? Oh my Wait, god. This is just that's amazing. Anything for a but talking fun. cat. <laughs> <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus oh, it looks composed really a cool, though. symphony, what the heck? one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm symphony. of Remoria. You'll be able to pause the melody within pretty, the though. realm it of this pretty. ancient civilization. I like you can also stuff. unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess Yo. of the faded castle, Yo. silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great Yo. civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> Me oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> That was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers cool who then. have already completed the third I'll act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Ah. Hopefully this helps nice. travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, oh yeah, better. So I know, so cool. <laughs> all right, that's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, 
outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. <gasps> rock and roll. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> all right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Wait, what? <laughs> take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. right. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something here. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Our talkie band. Oh, that's why freaking Ito's here. Bro's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to promo his new debut, bro. He'd be like, "Yo, stream me, stream Ito." Chat. Let's start a band. Let's call it Chat Band. Fire name. All right. Redemption code E A K A five B U nine H H R M. Ito Rock. Ito. Ito be like. Man, yeah, a lot of cool stuff, I guess. <laughs> oh man. Um. I'm holding on, guys. I'm holding on here. I'm holding on. Welcome back, everyone. Hey. <laughs> okay. I Yo, hear the? that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is <gasps> none other Free than Goro? Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about Free it? Goro. It would be my absolute Wait. pleasure, compadre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um... Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, Yo. right? That's oh, right, yeah. Both Hu Tao and Xin Yan performed there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right, and this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh, and even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh does. yeah, no, the way he says, iridescent, arataki, rockin' for life, tour to force of awesomeness, really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And the theme of this concert is about life, specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be well, awesome. Yes, it will here. be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Yeah. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Ooh. So if you Ooh. enjoy playing music in real life, or especially Utah if you enjoy playing music in the game, oh, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one, extreme carnival ensemble. We can okay, practice music, getting into the flow music. with some oh my rhythm God. games while the rhythm stage games. is still coming together. Wow, those keys look More really rhythm unique. games. Yeah, they really are. And the second task That's is cute. called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rockin' music festival without a rockin' venue. So travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's oh a piece of cake, God. right? Yeah. Scavenger <laughs> hunt of and and lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting All of right. melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. Wait, After this? listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so oh, we'll be awesome. able to hear that's, them that's, sing. That's nice. That's nice. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out oh, to the pure nice. spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma, over in Mondstadt, they'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> and you probably hold up, players. hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived? What? We're back. Yes. Oh my god, our content is back. I We're back. I love We're back, Wind Chad. Trace. We're so back. And, and yeah, it We're can so... get a little tense We're so at back. times. <laughs> well, the, so the new name implies that We're the so... game has undergone Yo. some mechanics Yo. changes, yeah? Yeah, you're correct. The very the game. Them. Yeah, you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before, but there are a few new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, 
you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> Oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh, no. Each round will have six signaling devices, Wait. which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. There's just the new rebels' goal there's new is items to repair mechanics. these devices fr like, while also high. avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, Wait. they win the match. Wait, oh, the and rebels can work together by to repair I hate that these by devices. No. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. Oh, dude, but the next part is even more thrilling. Well, I'm, when I'm rebels are fixing I'm a so signaling happy. device, this the device back, being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. You can actually play with What does it mean? Friends. It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And in another event, travelers will receive a rather strange commission. It's probably what more than mean, one, guys. Rather strange. What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovician. And a jade plume terror shroom. This dude's trying and to speed death. the millennial pearl seahorse. Huh? You guys heard me the first time. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting Natlon. some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself Crumbs up by having Natlon. his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really do hope Wait, they get Natlon did right. Did you say that he came back from that long? It would, it would be nice listen, to have listen, some, like... Listen, Damon, if you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. Okay. go check sure. out the event <laughs> when the virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce the game. I'm sure they learned by now. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, here all right, you, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. Oh. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce what them, the? it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. What cool. the hell? Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies. Well, they really Ooh. added a flower That's event. Cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event. Oh, God damn it. Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, God. it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate oh, different shit. effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. That means that so is much incredible. coming from you. Yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Basically, really the so transmitter crystal decides yeah. the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal I mean, determines the buff that your team nice. gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Sarah Mella Cruz. What is this team And yeah, what? <laughs> you gain oh, God, you for each what time was that? that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters. Slug so you Ryden. can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, The Forge Realms Temper, hey, will kooky. be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The Heated Battle Mode will also receive an update. <sighs> so TCG, don't miss man. out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an that. amazing yes. job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks, and guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I, yes, you agree? I was well, say, I, I agree, agree too. I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now, let's check out the... The, the last, last redemption, redemption code! code. Yay! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so they reran the vibrating crystal stuff. We have wind trays back again. That's fire, but it's dead by daylight. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but at least I get to play co-op with friends in Genshin finally again. Um previews from a chef who wants to befriend a pyro regisvine i will say the the quests and lore drops definitely outweigh the events we have right now i'm sure the music event's kind of fun maybe but eh, not right now i'm only i'm only thinking about arlecchino Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice! Ooh. First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serena Teapot, such as the Quick Obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So so convenient, so convenient. The avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. <laughs> oh, oh that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, and there's Arama and the Thunderbird. Yeah, and Rue. wait, avatars? <gasps> and for, more. From, uh, it's amazing. So many <laughs> more. I'm sure out. lots of travelers like them. Very cute. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information this about different This is good, but it should have been ways. added like Sweet. Oh, way ago. more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. Ooh. Let's go, music! I'm down for music. Yeah, that's right. Cantus Genshin Impact's third Fontaine a OST, Cantus Aeternus, will Eter debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team My for fault. the new region of Fontaine and related content. Yes. Music is my favorite! So hyped. <laughs> oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> I know, yes. I know. So I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Say it's not so. Is, is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh. are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Vin answer uh, right now in this moment? Uh, it's okay, you've got now. this, you've okay. got this. Okay, okay, uh, okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, we have did we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so cool. Oh, totally. She's so freaking cool and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> But I am also uh, really excited uh, for that and Linny's involvement in said things. No and that's banner. all I'm going to say right now, guys. Yes. Yeah, it was Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, hat. so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It yeah. is so good and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording so oh um, my gosh it's that's be amazing <laughs> wow I'm excited for all of those things too and I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6 so I hope Seriously. everyone's excited yes I am yeah. I'm just waiting I'm waiting. Wow, okay. I Maybe they'll just say have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so <laughs> glad I got to be here with <laughs> so you guys. It's just like such a great time. <laughs> there's supposed to be 10 more minutes. Thanks for being here. And there's supposed to be 10 more minutes. I think that's all we've got for this program. So no, we will not see you all be. in game. See you guys in the game. Bye. 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 See you later. I love you. Bye. <laughs> oh my God, that's it. Oh my. Wait. Bruh. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, well. Uh, uh, okay. Uh.
Pois é, mano. Yo. Bruh. No danger of quest. Um. Ah. Uh, right. Let's let's be real. Main seller of that update was definitely uh our Kino for the most part and the uh, exploration of that new region underwater which is pretty dope uh the codes um uh Sino with that new character but we'll get some nice Fatui lore and our Kino lore but that's really it uh, wind trace is nice I can't hate on wind trace wind trace is great but The events are that crazy. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is why I sigh, man. This is not even a squeak of Natlin. I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, 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 It's all good, though. Is what it is. I'm just here for Arlequino. Catch me rolling on the banner. Sheesh. Personally, I think it's going to be it for me, chat, chat. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions in chat right now. I know a lot of you guys are asking for a lot. Maybe not a lot. Maybe a little. Who knows? I'm sure you all wanted different things, but that's this is the reality. That's that. Oh. Remember, though, before I leave, thanks for hanging out today. I need to sleep. I haven't slept in like 20 hours almost, but wait, I've, I have, a, I've almost pulled a 24 hour cause it's 5 AM now. And I was up at 6 AM yesterday. Anyways, leave a like on the live stream so that I know I should do this more often because it lets me know. Hey, more streams on YouTube. Okay. Um, see you next patch update on the live stream. Uh, I'll, be in my discord i'm gonna post a form in my discord if people want to apply there and uh sign up for the next rolling video that i'll do for all the kino so that's all i got for me it's always nice to hang out because we all get together for events like this all the time well not all the time just when this happens but now yeah. appreciate you guys thanks again for always supporting i don't get to say it directly to you guys but if you're here watching the live stream, I do appreciate you. And if you watch my, my videos. Genshin's been a long time. In the works. Almost four years now. So that's pretty crazy. Alright. Ruchi, thank you for the super chat. IGN, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to Cantaloupe, please. Shout out to Cantaloupe. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet some stuff about Genshin now. I feel like there's some stuff to tweet about on the Twitter. Let me go do that. All right, guys. Bye bye. See you on Twitch, maybe if you watch on Twitch. If not. I'll see you in the next YouTube bid. Hopefully coming this Sunday. I should have another one this Sunday. Alright. Bye-bye.